Tonight, a local doctor who pleaded guilty to taking part in an opioid kickback scheme is going to prison. We've been tracking this story for months. Dr. Gerald Rosenberg admitted last fall to prescribing a powerful fentanyl spray to patients in exchange for thousands of dollars in kickbacks. And today, some of his former patients faced him in federal court. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live in studio now with the details that are new at 6. Steph? Gerald Rosenberg and his lawyer wouldn't speak to us after the sentencing, but in court, Rosenberg was in tears, apologizing for what he did to his patients after taking kickbacks from a drug company. Justice was served. One of the former patients of Dr. Gerald Rosenberg leaving federal court Friday after Rosenberg was sentenced to 51 months in prison for taking kickbacks from a drug company in exchange for prescribing subsis, a spray version of the powerful opiate fentanyl. The North Providence doctor pleaded guilty in October to taking the kickbacks in the form of speaking fees, then prescribing the drug to patients for pain management. He also falsely claimed the patients had something called breakthrough cancer pain even if they didn't have cancer, so that insurance companies would pay for the expensive drug. His son was a sales rep for the pharmaceutical company and made commissions off the prescriptions. At his sentencing hearing in federal court, where our cameras are not allowed, victims testified about the side effects of the strong opiate. One of the unnamed former patients quoted in court documents saying, I was really, really, really sick to the point that I couldn't hold no medication, no food in my stomach. I was 97 pounds. I was the entire two, three years just vomiting. Before handing out his sentence, Judge John McConnell telling Rosenberg, you in effect sold your medical license to a pharmaceutical company. That's intolerable. Now, dozens of other patients wrote letters to the court in support of Dr. Rosenberg. Rosenberg has to report to federal prison on March 30th. He's also been ordered to pay back more than $700,000 to the insurance companies he defrauded, including Medicare. We did reach out to the company that makes the drug subsist, but have not yet heard back. Executives are also being prosecuted. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.